Hey everyone, welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Love. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a bold eye and bold lip fuchsia makeup tutorial. Today, we're going to be creating a look using only pink. So we've got pink lips and pink eye, and it's going to be like a bold makeup tutorial, but as usual, we're going to be keeping it as wearable as possible. I think that pink is such a fitting color, seeing that we're going on into spring. So I feel like pink is such like a good color, like it's a very spring-like color. And I know that pink can be one of those intimidating colors, and I say it in every video, like, Color can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be because I reckon that you guys can 100% pull this one off. So I'm going to give you guys today my take on a fuchsia makeup tutorial. But off of camera today already, I moisturized and I also did my brows. And my for the brows today, I use the Maybelline Brow Satin. The first step to the makeup tutorial, obviously, is to prime. So we're going to start with our base first and then move into our eyes. Primer today, I'm going with the Too Faced Studio Primers. I've got these two here. Your left is the pore minimizing primer and the one on your right is your anti-redness primer i'm taking the pore minimizing one in all of the areas that i have pores which include like the nose and just the top of my forehead And then since I do have a little bit of redness on my face as well, I'm going to dive in with the anti-redness primer, which is a green primer, which counteracts the red in the face. I'm just going to throw that across my whole entire face. Okay, so now that we are all primed and ready to go, we need to jump into foundation. And seeing that we're going on into spring, the sun is definitely out, it's definitely beaming, we're definitely going to get burnt, and so we need some SPF. If you don't have an SPF, it's really important to be using a foundation that does have an SPF in it. So for today's video, I've chosen to use this foundation here. This is the Dream Urban Cover Foundation, and it has an SPF 40 in it. I think for today, we might dive in with this shade here. It's just a little bit darker, but I feel like we can kind of get away with it because we are going on into summer, so we do want to look that little bit tanned. I'm going to give it a shake and this comes in like a tube black bottle like that. So I'm going to squeeze 10 cent amount onto my hand. And then I'm just going to grab a beauty sponge and begin to blend that around the whole entire face. So foundation is now blended out, we need to dive on into concealer. So I'm going to be taking one of my faves, which is the Instant Age Rewind uh, Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 10 Fair. So what I'm doing with this concealer is I'm taking it under the eyes to help brighten under there, and then I'm also taking it onto the other parts of my face as well, like my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my forehead to help highlight. And then now I'm going to blend that all out just using the same beauty sponge that I used for my foundation. Now before that concealer gets a chance to crease, I'm going to go in with some loose powder and this one is my absolute favourite. It's the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm using the shade 10. And to set under there, I'm just going to grab a bullet kind of looking brush like that and then just dip lightly into the powder and tap off any of the excess and then just begin to press that under the eyes. With that same powder, I'm also going to go in with the same brush and just set the same places that we put the concealer to so the forehead, the nose, the cupid's bow, and the chin as well. It's time to set the remainder of the face before we move on to eyes and the rest of our base. So I'm going to take the Fit Me Powder in the shade 220, and this is just the pressed version. And so I'm just going to take it on like a big fluffy brush, and then just begin to pat that one onto the skin to set um, all the places that we hadn't set with the loose powder. Now 
now we'll just finish off the rest of the base before we move on to our eyes. So I feel like it's time to contour slash bronze. I'm going to try and do that all in one today. So I'm going to take the City Bronzer. This one is in the shade Light Cool 100. And this is a bronzer and a contour powder all in one. So it gets the job done super quickly. Okay, now blush time. I'm gonna pick a nice pink blush that has a little bit of luminosity to it as well because seeing that it is summer, we wanna be glowy, we wanna be bronzy, we wanna be kind of like, you know, dewy. So I'm gonna dive in with this blush here. And this is just a single blush in the shade 15. And this is called Nude. So all that's left to do is highlighter, lips, and our eyes. I think I might leave highlighter till the very, very end because we do then need to highlight the inner corners and the brow bone and whatnot. So I think now it's time to dive into the fuchsia eyes. So for our eyeshadows to stick down, we do need an eye base. So I'm going to be taking the Instant Age Rewind Concealer again. Just the same one that we use under our eyes and to highlight the base. And then pop that onto our eyelids and then blend it out with a beauty sponge. For today, we do want that colour to really pop. We want the pink to really like stand out. So instead of setting the base, I'm going to leave it wet and go straight on in with our pink eyeshadow. So for our pink eyeshadow today, I'm going to dive into the Lemonade Craze palette, which is one of my favourites. So I'm going to be diving straight on in to Ice Pop, which is such a nice pink. And then we're going to do stamping motions. And then from stamping motions, we're then going to move into more of a circular motion with our brush. And that will help to blend out and diffuse that colour. We're not going to dip back into the pan when we do circular motions. We're just going to leave whatever's left on the brush. Then to diffuse out the very, very edges of that eyeshadow, I'm going to dive in with the shade Sunny, just down here, which is kind of like a white shade. And I'm just going to take that circular motions around the outside of the pink. So we've got that base colour down in our eyes now. I think it's time that we do a nice pop of like shimmer or something to really bring attention to the eyes and the lid of the eyes. I'm going to take this product here, which is the 24 hour colour tattoo. And this is in the shade Socialite. And with that shade, I'm going to take that across the whole entire lid. Okay, so that's given our eyes kind of like a nice glossy... Kind of feel them. I really, really like the way that this looks. I think it looks so nice. It's not too intense. But now it's time to move on to a little bit of mascara. I'm just going to use the Big Shot Mascara. Went off camera and popped on a nice pair of fluffy, kind of spaced out lashes. So all that's left to do is highlight and lip and then we are done. If I highlight to stick with the whole pink and fuchsia theme, I'm going to go in with obviously none other than the Master Chrome Highlighter. And this is in the shade Mol Molten Rose Gold. Take it on a fan brush. So all that's left to do is lips, and I think the perfect lip colour would be a combo of these two Superstay Liquid lipsticks. So first going in with shade 10, and then using shade 5 in the centre to lighten it up.
Alrighty guys, that French brings us to the end of the video. So we have finished the fuchsia inspired spring makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below and subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you all in the next Maybelline Makeup Loft video. See you there. Bye. Mwah.